All right, what's up, guys? We're back with another one now. So we just had a big patch, right? We just had a big patch in uh, Guilty Gear Strive. A lot of people have been playing our characters, testing them out, and it's been a little bit over a week right now. So I wanted to make this video right now. I want to talk about the three biggest winners and the three biggest losers of the first Guilty Gear Strive patch. Now, this is just my opinion. So if you disagree, by all means, you know, it's, it's still early. So share your thoughts, please, in the comments. But just want to get some discussion going. So let's start with the winners. You know, let's start with the good news first. So boom, right here. Please, I know I'm on Panda. I know I'm supposed to be downplaying this character along with Kizzy, but I always thought he was strong even before. You know, he wasn't, like, broken or anything, but, he, you know, he was really, really strong, and maybe he was missing something. He, like, there was a little bit something that he was missing, and I think when this patch, he got it, right? So, people, if you're, like, a, a little bit mid-level player, it might not look like much, but, you know, th this poke right here, this far S poke got sped up, and combined with the Stun Dipper buff where it's going to work on both hits from look at this just the tip you get a full combo and a knockdown so in other games that might be normal in strive it is not a lot of characters in this game cannot combo off of you know the max range just the tip so you're, you're playing the ground and footsies here knockdown okay and now i got meaty 5k or meaty run up bro and i'm starting my pressures so this is very 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 powerful uh, in addition to that he got what 2k 2d a little bit more consistent. And then uh, he got Dragon and Stall buff, which, you know, people are trying to hype up right now, but I feel like it's not really that important. You know, I could be wrong. People might figure out a use for it, but I feel like you have better ways to spend your meter. But again, he got three buffs. And again, it's not flashy. It's not flashy, but this simple change to far S combined with the Stun Dipper, I think this gave him the boost he needed. You know, he needed a little bit something. I think this is it. And he's definitely going to be one of the stronger characters now. All right, next winner here is, I'm going to say Eno is another one of the big winners right now. So she already was a character that, she got second place at EVO. What, she got second place at EVO in, in Europe, I believe. You know, Dara Eno has been dominating, doing a ton of work. She got second one in, in Japan too, but not really a threat. It's more like very few specialists were doing a lot of work, but she's not a very common character. But they gave her a ton of buffs right now. And so the one complaint a lot of people had with her is that she's kind of slow. Compared to her old version, they're like, not anymore. Damn, that was fast. That's faster than Easy always dash, but her movement, you know, her dash is just sped up. So it's easier for her to approach right now. For example, like after a node is out, if she wants to just fly in there, it's easier to just get on top of you or even cross you up right there. It's just a lot more scary because this is where she wants to be. She wants to be on top of you where she can start going for the high low and all that stuff. And now with this movement, which is huge, that's big. Then in addition to that, you know, it's more, uh, a, she got a lot of little changes, I think, that add up. So 2K, 2D. Uh, this combo is more consistently now. That was a problem she had before. And of course, that's how she gets started, right? That's how she gets started with her little blender right there. Her stroke now. This is like her, her big move. This is one of her key moves now. The pushback is lowered so she can always get this follow-up without any... Right? You don't have to worry about any sort of drop. You see how I'm just mashing right now? Just way more consistent, way better uh, to get in that position. Her jump D... Look how late you can cancel this jump D. And still get the combo. See? See how it says four hits? That means it's a true combo. So, four hits again. Like, it doesn't pop them up. It keeps them on the ground. So, you have all the time in the world hit confirmed. So, it makes it, her pressure even scarier. Even scarier. And then last one here is just this move now goes... It goes further forward, right? So, it helps her uh, on wall splats. So, there are times where she wouldn't be able to get the wall break. But now, it moves her forward... So she's going to get that wall break every time. Get the hard knockdown and keep her pressure going. So, again, it's all these little changes that add up. And then on top of that, the mobility. Like, this is the biggest change, right? So all these nice changes. And then she's sped up now. It's like, it feels like this is the way Eno should have been, right? This is the way she should have been. So the players that were already doing work with her are going to really start doing work with her. All right. And the last big winner, you know, I'm going I'm to pick the top three, in my opinion. The, the last big winner is Axel. His stuff is a lot more simple, right? He doesn't have a lot of changes, but he only has two changes, but they're big, right? So the first one is this move right here, Snail. It got sped up, so you can combo this off of, like, just Stand P. That did not combo before, right? 2P as well. So from this range, you got to confirm if you have meter, right? You can get up there and get a wall break. So this makes just his straight pokes. They already did a nice chunk of damage. Just damage increase as well. And more importantly than that, you get the pushback, right? So 
So you get to push back your full screen where he wants to be, and you got to charge now. So you got to Ren Sen if you want. You can do whatever. So that that's a small change that is actually like really really effective, right? Simple but effective change. Now the big change. It's not only like a, a useful change, but it's a super cool change uh, to this move. His one vision, this is his time stop move, which it was super hype. I admit, I thought it looked really, really strong when it first came out. The It turned out not to be that useful. You know, people felt meter was a little bit better. But now, you can cancel one vision uh, into or off special moves. So, like that. Any special move, you can go right into the super. So, whether you're full screen doing like a Rensen poke, you know, activate, and then you can go for instant overhead, something like that, blah, 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 blah. But the big one, the one that a lot of people are, are starting to experiment with is with his, his uh, command grab. So before the command grab, even though it was a key part of his his move or his arsenal, it wasn't too scary. It wasn't, wasn't that scary, but now you can do stuff like time stop, you know, you activate, and then the same combo, you actually do the time stop, and you can do... I can't do it, I'm sorry, I don't play this character, but you can do, like, bomber loops into the wall break, into the positive bonus, and then you're gonna gain your meter back from just doing it to begin with, right? Because, yes, it costs 50 meter, but when you get positive bonus, you get all your meter back, so... This move that was so important to his game, but I felt like the, the reward was kind of underwhelming, has now just got a huge buff, right? And again, this is a move I think is going to get better and better over time as the players get more and more comfortable. I saw Reynald. Reynald did this. This was kind of sick, right? Reynald did IAD time stop to bait off the anti-air. And so he caught the opponent trying to anti-air and then he just blew him up when he landed, right? So that kind of creativity, that kind of freedom that, that one vision gives Axel, right? I feel like the Axel is going to develop more and more and more. And this character is already strong, right? He won Evo in, in Asia. Zizzy's doing work out here. But yeah, that's it. Those are the three big winners from the patch, I think. Now let's look at the losers. All right, so here we are. The first up, the biggest loser. Now, hang in there. Hang in there. I'm not I'm not Sejam. I'm not here to downplay Soul Bad Guy. He's still arguably the strongest character in the game. He's still number one. But you, you cannot deny that he got nerfed, right? You cannot deny that he got nerfed in this uh, in this patch, right? He definitely got hit very hard, but he was just so strong before that even with these nerfs, you know, he's still very, very strong. So the nerfs, the biggest one, uh, you know, th this is the meme. This is the moon everybody, everybody hates so much. Far S right there, Far S. So it got hit two ways. So first of all, Far S starter has heavier proration, so the combo is going to do less damage. Unfortunately, because of stuff like, you know, Vortex confirms, clean hit DPs, it's still going to kill you. It's still going to do like 60%. He's still going to murder you. But more importantly is the pushback. So the old the old meme was him doing far S, staying in your face, and then mixing you up. But now if you FD, right, right, you can get out of there. You want to FD and then like backdash, right? If you do something like FD, backdash, you can escape. You can get out of that situation really, really fast. A way they'll deal with that is by using 6S, right? So 6S, another key move in his, uh, his arsenal. This move got nerfed as well. So, for some reason, this move used to be like anti-air. I have no idea why. So, it would hit even if your opponent was airborne and was messed up. It also had a really low to the ground hitbox. So, it could OTG. It, it got its its upper and lower hitboxes shrunk down. So, that, that's pretty big. The, the fact you can't OTG all with it is also quite big right there. But, two key moves nerfed. Another big nerf for him is this move was so goddamn stupid. It's still stupid. His SDP... Just throw it out all day. Like most, you'd watch pro players not be able to punish it. But they added more recovery now, so you're finally able to to punish it. It's still hard though. Don't don't get me wrong. You still have to be on point, but it's easier. But it's easier than it was before. Right, and the the last change here is uh with his bandit bringer. So similar to the far S where the pushback is increased, right? These moves used to be really stupid. In particular, the air one. You know the ground one's good too, but in particular the air one was really really messed up. It would throw off anti-airs. It messes up your timing. The hitbox is insane. And it's plus, right? And it's plus. But the increased pushback right now, it puts him out of range. You see that? So he can't press his 3 frame 5k or just grab you. So that's really, really, really big. The nerf might not be as, as bad as you want it to be. We're like, oh, I should be able to punish him every time for that. But the same thing we saw with that. The fact you're able to escape... You're able to get out of that that absolute death zone of, of souls in your face. 
it gives you a little bit more room to breathe, a little bit, you know, uh, a better chance to win this matchup. But again, like I said to start, do not get it twisted. He is still an absolute monster. He is still a monster of a character. I'm just happy they nerfed him at all. I didn't expect him to get touched at all until November, and I hope on November, I hope they hit his ass again. Uh, speaking of the devil, the next loser, the number two loser's right there on the screen. It's Chip. So I, I think Chip is the second biggest loser right now. So let me show you why. All right, so here, th this is why Chip is, is the biggest loser. So he only got one, he got two, two nerfs, but there's one nerf. To show just how stupid this move was before, that like, just one move getting nerfed is enough to actually like, really hurt the character. His jump 2k, his drill kick, that I'm sure if you've seen this character, if you fought him, you're furious at this move, it got hit hard. It got hit in two ways. So first of all, the it actually is a hurt box now. So he can't just spam it all day. You can actually anti-air it. So watch, ready? 5k, you see that? You see how that 5k beat it? Let's try a 6p. 6p as well. I'm gonna just try 2h. 2h, you see? You can actually stop that move. He cannot do jump 2k, jump 2k, jump 2k, jump 2k, jump 2k anymore. Thank God. All right, so we saw the, the hurt box, you can anti-air it now, but also the buff that they said was that it kept Chip on top of you. So one of the, the key things he did before would be drill kick in the 2K like this, right? Drill kick, 2K, and then he starts his pressure. But the fact that it keeps you in range now and throws and Guilty Gear are two frames, you can do something like this. Let's see if I can do it. See, we grabbed it, we grabbed it, we grabbed it here. So this is an option now. So again, this is not like a true answer, but it does stop Chip from doing the autopilot. That was one of the problems before. That he was super autopilot. No matter what Leffen tried to tell you about how technical he was, drill kick and a drill kick and a drill kick and a drill kick, you know, hit or block, I don't care. I'm gonna just do drill kick, 2K, blah, blah, blah. He can't play like that anymore. He's gonna have to use his brain. He's gonna have to kind of sneak in those drill kicks because as we see like how much damage he'll take from like an anti-air, like a soul play could kill. What is this? Like, look at that. I just made up a combo and that was like 60%. So that's Chip's arguably best move and it got nerfed really, really bad. So that's, that's a big loss for him. And then one more. And then the other nerf he got is, you know, Far S. This is one of his God buttons right here, you know? This is one of his God, but it's still a God button. Don't get me wrong. This is still a God button. The hitbox kind of got shrunk. So you can actually kind of counter it. So uh, I'm gonna try and two do two this, two this. Ready? Look at that. You see, I went right under it, right? So you can do two D and like six P. So you have ways to deal with Chip, run up, far S, Rekka, and then like get his pressure going. So you know, two big hits that he took, and that's a character that's already like a glass cannon. So he definitely is one of the big losers, I think. Left is right. Left is right. And now last one, the last, the biggest loser. You know, it's Anime Illuminati. This is Juna. Of course, it's going to be this guy. Now, hold on. All right, boys, here we go. This is the third biggest loser of the patch, in my opinion, right here. And his name is Angie Mito. So I'm here to downplay uh, the character. Now, he did get buffed. Don't get me wrong. You know, the uh, this, this is a really, really nice buff that he had. But this is not a buff. This is a fix. This is a hot fix. This should have been like this from the start. And it still could get buffed even more. Uh, his Fujin, if you didn't know, it got its range. Even though it doesn't look like much, it got its horizontal range increase. You would land like a combo here and like Fujin just wouldn't reach for, for some reason, you know? It just wouldn't reach. But now, yes, you can actually get combos. It is amazing. It's lovely we can do that. Uh, he got Shin. Shin. Shin got a little bit of buff right there. And then his Far S, which is one of his good pokes right here, it got reduced recovery right there. So three, three good buffs, right? Three good buffs. Now the big one. This is what we're here to talk about. Once again, the biggest change to Angie, I'm sure you're familiar with it, but he can change he can change his Fujins now. So before the character had to land the Fujin, hit or block, then he can go into a follow-up, right? So he could hit and then go into hop, or hit, go into overhead, or hit and go into low. The big change is that you don't have to hit anymore. You can cancel it. So you can do this kind of stuff, right? You can go right in the overhead and stuff like that. Now the problem is people think this is busted. The people that don't play this character, the people on the fourth floor, they they were saying this is busted. Like right? people coming here saying that he's top one character, like he's borderline broken with the new Fujin cancels. This is nothing. This is nothing. This does nothing. The same problems with the Fujin follows are all still there, right? This doesn't, you know, you're like, oh, you can cancel the low. The frame dead on this, like when you're doing this Fujin and canceling, 
that's all he's wide open there's no guard points there's no invincibility on this right now that whole point there's no invincibility on that there's no guard point so this is like a 50 is like 60 frame overhead with no invul right there hop is still reactable you know so the fobs the problem before is that at high level play people react you can react as 100 percent you can react to the overhead you can react to the hop right you hold down back for the shin and then you just watch for the hop or overhead right against this move it just keeps the pressure going and jump the the fujin cancels did not help right the, the, actually nothing happened and yet they still all lose to dps like leo's flash kick will beat every option right it's fake i'm telling you right now so people have been uh we got another video i'll, I'll talk about it i'm not the one i'm not just the one saying it people oh gina you, you're just downplaying your track we got Jiro. I got I got the number one Angie player in the entire world saying the same exact stuff, right? These are not really buffs. The good news is it's fun, you know, it's fun to have more options, but this did not actually make him any better at all. He's still the same character he was before, just a little bit flashier. You're like, Juno, hold on. He got four buffs. Why are you saying this is a nerf? Because now everybody thinks this character got buffed. Everybody thinks this character is strong. I guarantee you when November comes or when the, the next patch comes, they're not going to touch his ass. They're going to be like, hey, we buffed him. We buffed him back in uh, in August, you know? He got his buffs in August. He's fine now. You see the dudes on Twitter? You see the dudes in Juno's YouTube comments? They said he was top three, man. We don't got to buff him anymore. This is it. Angie's finished, man. It's over. It's over. It's over. It's over. I want to give an honorable mention to, you know, Leo, Nagoryuki, uh, Giovanna. Characters got buffed. For no reason, why would you buff those characters? They're already top tier. Why would you buff them? But they didn't get crazy buffs. But the fact they got buffs at all, instead of getting nerfed, is like, holy crap. That, that's a huge dub for them right there. But uh, there you go. That's just my thoughts. Uh, feel free to leave a comment. You know, disagree. I'm, I'm, I want to hear people's thoughts, you know. Of course, I don't have experience with the whole cast. Is there someone you think got really strong? Do you think there's a winner that I missed that should have been in the top three? Or is there a loser... That should have been there over Angie. I disagree. Angie's definitely the biggest loser of the patch. But uh, yeah, like always, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. Let's talk about it. I, I love this kind of, you know, more than tier list. I love talking about actual in-game stuff and, you know, sharing some thoughts. So uh, yeah, if you're still watching, thank you. Leave a comment. Uh, and I'll see you in October, November when Angie doesn't get buffed. He, they're going to nerf his ass. They're going to nerf his ass in November. I can't, I can't wait for it. But uh, like always, thank you. I'll see you next one. Peace.